If you're putting drywall on a ceiling, and an eight foot ceiling or a 10 foot ceiling, you owe it to yourself to rent one of these drywall jacks. You can put it, it'll turn sideways at an angle. You can set the drywall on there, flip it back the way you want it like this, and just raise it right up to the ceiling and hold it there. It makes it so much easier to get it into place and then put some screws in around the perimeter to hold it and then you can lower it back down and get it out of your way. Now it's in the up position right now. I can't release it because it's a two-handed job but what you got to do you turn the wheel just enough to take some pressure off and then you release the brake and then you crank it down. If you just release the brake that thing is going to come slamming down because it's pretty heavy. Look, let me get it uh, into the down position, show you a little bit more. So, I've got it in the down position and I tilted it sideways. There's a little last latch here you have to release. And then, it just flips. And you don't have to do that, but it makes it easier. And you, Flip these little arms down, lift your drywall up, set it on there. And I've even put eight foot sheets on here by myself. And it's easier when it's in this position because it's easier to load it. When you get the drywall on there, you flip it back down so it's level. Lock your latch, make sure your drywall can't flip over on you for something happen. And then you just position it where you want it and it's got three wheels on it, like a tripod, and it's easy to roll, reel, and I roll, and then you can get fairly close within two foot, so as long as you've got most of the stuff out of the way, you can just roll this right in, raise it up. If you have to, like here, we got tracks for the garage door, there's a spring for the garage door, so you get it up pretty close, you can wiggle it right into position and put your screws in it. And it's not only a time saver, it really is a back saver. Cause we tried a couple sheets, climbing up ladders, holding it with your head. I also made a couple of T's. Where are they at? Well, they started off at T's. They ended up being eyes. I took an eight foot two by four, not a stud. I put a three foot piece at the top and a two foot piece at the bottom just because that's what we had for scrap. And when we get the drywall up on the ladder, then we could take these and pull them into position and it braces the drywall up there so you don't have to keep holding it. Then you get it tight, you can put your screws in, but the drywall jack works a heck of a lot better. They're only 30 bucks a day at a rental place, at least where we are. I highly recommend it. So if you're doing some drywall, do yourself a favor. And the way it tilts, you could even put this up on a ceiling, that, like a cathedral ceiling that's on an angle or like a log cabin or something like that. Hey, thanks for watching.